Hello friends, this video statistics part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched statistics part 1 to part 9. In case we have to find mean deviation about median or discrete frequency distribution, the first thing we have to do is find median. Finding median is a little difficult and little tricky part. I'll explain that. Once we have the median, then we can use the same formula which we have used in the earlier case that is sigma fi instead of xi we will say xi minus m mod that is distance of all these points from m divided by n correct the same formula we use now let me first explain you how to find the median so let's say we have same data similar data uh, a student has obtained 5 marks 4 marks 3 marks right 2 marks 0 marks 5 marks, 4 marks, 3 marks, 1 marks, 5 marks, 3 marks, okay, 0 marks, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, there are 12 students, n is equal to 12, and this is the data we have obtained, so let's convert this into, or let's try to first find the median, so in this case what we do for median, we first arrange this in the ascending order and then we find the midpoint so let's arrange in ascending order 0 and 0 first 0 comma 0 this is gone then we have 1 only 1 time 1 1 then we have 2 we have 3 3 times 3 3 comma 3 comma 3 then we have 4 2 times and then we have 5 3 times Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Correct. And then since n is equal to 12, this is an even number. We'll have to find n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 term. That is, we have to find 6 and 7 term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 term. And then we have to take the mean. The mean comes out to be 3. So we'll say 3 is the median of this value correct and then we will proceed so to find median what we have done here we have first arranged this in ascending order and then we have found 6th and 7th term and got the average since n was even same thing for example you have this frequency distribution so what you will do you will do like this 5 4 3 2 0 5 is 1 plus 1 times 4 is also 1 plus 1 times 3 is 1 plus 1 1 will put 1 here 5 is again one more time plus 1 3 is again one more time plus 1 and then we have 0 1 plus 1 this is, one. This is the frequency distribution we will get that is 5 4 3 2 0 1 3 2 3 1 2 1 correct 2 plus 1 3 4 6 12 yeah this is the frequency distribution we got now the first thing we have done was we have arranged this in ascending order similar to this we will arrange this in ascending order so if you want to arrange in ascending order ASC what you will get is 0 2 1 1 2 1 times 3 is 3 times 4 is 2 times 5 is 3 this is the first thing we have done we have arranged this in ascending order right this is frequency and this is xi here also this is xi and this is fi so we have done first thing is we have arranged this in ascending order then we knew that there are 12 terms because 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 4 plus 3 7 2 9 plus 3 12 terms and 12 is even so we have to find the mean of 6th and 7th term so to do that we will find let's find the cumulative frequency first Cumulative frequency will give you a better idea because you can find the exact term where it is. This is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. So cumulative frequency is nothing but you add the frequencies. For example, you are at this point, so you add all the frequency to this point. So this is 2 plus 1, 3. If you are at this point, you add all the frequency from this point to this point. 
this becomes 9. If you add this, talking about this value, you all add all the frequencies. This becomes cumulative frequency. Now you have to find 6 and 7. So we know that 6 and 7 both lies in this because till 4th it is here, 5th, 6 and 7 terms are in this value, in this term. That means from this table only we can make out that 5th, 6th and 7 values are 3 and we are not bothered about 5th so we we'll ignore it. The 6th and 7 values are 3 each so we will say that is x6 is nothing but 3 and x7 is also 3. This we can derive from this table correct because we have xi fi we have got the cumulative frequency and 6 and 7 is in this this zoom in here so we can make out that 6 and 7 are both 3 each correct now with, since we have 3 3 each for 6 and 7 we know the value of x and we can take the mean the mean of this will be 3 plus 3 by 2 so this is the value of median so what we have done in case of discrete frequency we first arrange in ascending order we find the cumulative frequency once we have cumulative frequency we know the value of n then based on whether it is even or odd for example if n would have been 11 would have told that the middle term is 11 plus 1 by 2 that is 6 but since n was even we told the middle term is average of n by 2 and n by 2 plus 1 this we have learned in the past classes so we have got the middle terms and then we have got the middle term we got the values and we then we took the mean because here n was 12 that's how you find median it is a little tricky but that's how thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again